Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day today. Thank you so much for tuning into the I Get Food channel here on YouTube. If it's your first time here, let me introduce myself. My name's Clark and what we do on the channel is share with you guys all the awesome and diverse food spots that we have here in Toronto and the surrounding area. Now in today's episode, I'm going to be taking you guys along as I check out five awesome spots to grab a breakfast sandwich. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's definitely going to be tasty. So come along and join me. It's time to get food. So we're off on a tour to separate the best from the rest. And I can't think of a better way to start than in the Dovercourt area where Masa Deli and Cafe is slinging one of the city's most popular breakfast sandwiches. So this shop is absolutely blowing up on social media. Every time I turn the app on, I see somebody posting a photo or a video featuring the breakfast sandwiches that they serve here. So I knew there's no way we were gonna do a top five list without including this spot. Had to go in for a second bite. Mm. Love that sausage. Nice and savory. You definitely taste the hot sauce coming through. And that's balanced off with some of the tanginess and tartness from the pickle. Mm. But if there's one thing that really jumps out, it's that fluffy omelet. It's like a cloud. So of course there's a huge variety of breakfast sandwiches that they have here. I mean, I went with the sausage one, but they have a kale one, they have a few other ones as well. Anytime you come in, definitely check out the menu to see which of the breakfast sandwiches jumps out at you. I've had the kale one before and it was really phenomenal, so I don't think you can go wrong. But something else that I really like about this spot Aside from the sandwiches, of course, just the cool vibes, the neighborhood atmosphere, a few different spots. Some of you might remember when I did the treats video at the beginning of summer, and we featured a donut spot that's also on the street. You know, it's just a couple of businesses down. So just a really great neighborhood feel around here. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's just enjoying the day. Yeah, Masa Deli, great start. was absolutely a great start but we've got more places to check out so let's get to it the second stop on our list started out as a kombucha business and they also dabbled in a little bit of everything else today they continue to grow and evolve and you can find them operating out of Fakoa restaurant where they always continue to make some of the best stuff so a lot of people do take out but uh, the interior here is just so nice I, I couldn't help myself I decided to stay and shoot the video in here was lucky enough that it's that it's not too busy right now and was able to get a spot right by the window. So unlike Masa Deli, this is my first time here. I've heard so many good things, so I'm so incredibly excited. So of the breakfast sandwiches here, there's two that are the most popular. You can either go with the avocado and roasty if you prefer a more vegetarian option, or they also have a pork belly version. But I went and took it to the next level. On recommendation of the staff here, I decided to do the best of both worlds and do the avocado roasty, but add the pork belly. Mm -mm -mm -mm. As I suspected, that yolk is nice and runny and creamy. Mm. The bun nice and soft, but the roasty gives it some crispiness. So you're getting two textures there. The avocado adds to the creaminess and richness to the whole sandwich, but that pork belly <laughs> gives it that saltiness, takes up that umami to the next level. Wow. Yeah, it's a little pricey for a breakfast sandwich, but if you're looking for a heartier option or this is going to be your main meal for the day, oh, this is phenomenal. Ooh. 
that aged cheddar, wow. It's almost like there's so much going on with this sandwich that with each bite, something else grabs your attention. Mm. How are we doing over here? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, everything's just good. I just need to build up. Perfect. Oh, my mouth was totally full. I couldn't resist. Everything was so delicious. I just had to take a big bite. <laughs> I wasn't able to answer him. Just give him the thumbs up. But you can see, like, the staff here are being super friendly. Wow, what a way to start your day. Our third stop takes us to Leslieville. Now this spot used to be a gas station that also doubled as a general store and smokehouse. Yep, you heard that right. And while they've since moved to the other side of the street, they still sell many awesome and hard to get elsewhere items, as well as a fabulous menu of barbecue. And guess what? I'm not alone. Hey, good morning and welcome to Leslieville Pumps. I'm the owner here at Judson Flom, and we're going to talk about our smoked salmon bagel today. We cure it eight days in-house, cold smoke it and slice it ourselves. We also have our chive cream cheese, uh, which is whipped in-house with fresh chives and topped with our capers and red onions. But really what makes this bagel even better is the bagel that it's on. We have a double twister bagel that we're using today with a little bit of sesame seed on the outside. And uh, to finish all our bagel off, we always squirt it with a little bit of lemon juice. Hope you enjoy. All right, enough talking about this. I gotta get this in my face. Mmm. You know, this is, this, is, this is not that convenience store gas station level food that you're thinking of, of yesteryear. If you're not here at breakfast, if you're coming at lunch, this is a great smokehouse as well. We're definitely gonna have to do a follow-up episode and cover some of those as well. If you guys wanna see that, then let me know in the comments. I hear they do a great brisket sandwich here. Another gentleman I was talking to when I came in this morning, they said I had to try the hickory chicken sandwich. Oh wow, so much good stuff, but you know, we're about the breakfast sandwiches. This one right here, the smoked salmon with the cream cheese, perfect balance. You got a bit of saltiness, a little bit of garden freshness, creaminess with the cream cheese. Like they said, they whip it in house here, but it's all about that bagel as well. Okay, that's enough about our smoked salmon bagel. We have one other sandwich that you must try. So we do pea mail in-house a little bit differently than everybody else does. What we do is we take the whole loin as we covered in our cornmeal, we like to put it in our smoker and we smoke it. And as we smoke it, and the cornmeal starts to attach to the uh, pork loin, we get maple syrup and we glaze it. We're just constantly con mopping it in maple syrup. And then after we finish smoking it, we slice it up. And the thing that we do differently than everybody else is we hit it on the barbecue before we hit it on the sandwich. So you'll notice our sandwich is a little bit smokier, a little bit crispier than you would usually have in anywhere else. Mm, oh, look at that steam coming out of there. Over there. And a little bit of a honey mustard that we make in house on the top. Stack of six smoked layers of female bacon. Enjoy my friend. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get more Canadian than a pea meal bacon sandwich, right? Mmm. That glaze gives it that hint of sweetness. The mustard gives you that extra bite and kick. Oh, wow. I know I cheated for this one. All the other places were just doing the one sandwich, but here the hospitality is unreal. I came in, you know, like we always do here on I Get Food, we always, you know, try to pay for the food, but they're so super nice here. You really wanted me to try the pea meal bacon sandwich. If you are not a salmon person, smoked salmon person, not everybody is, I get it. Definitely come by here if you haven't before. Try the pea meal bacon, the bagels, any of the other options that they have on here. I think it's gonna absolutely blow your mind, you guys.
Next up is hot pork. Have you heard about them? Because if you haven't, let this be your call to action because this gem is taking barbecue for breakfast to a whole new level. Chef Michael, who is the owner of Hot Pork, was well on his way to executive chef stardom before COVID saw him pivot to making sausages and other prepared meats out of his home. It's something that he'd done for about as long as he can remember, and you can still get those items and lots more, as well as a menu of ready-to-eat smokehouse barbecue now that he has his own brick-and-mortar shop near Trinity Bellwoods Park. All right, you guys, Hot Pork. Look at this. So let's see what we got in here, man. We got like the mayo, we've got that nice fried egg. Of course, there's the barbecue sauce in there. And then the star of the show, which is that beef brisket. Beef brisket, say less, man. Mmm. <laughs> Every now and then I get comments on these videos saying that I'm exaggerating or that it's all hyperbole, but Hey, you know what? It's just because I'm really passionate about food and about people who run businesses like this, like Chef Michael, who's all about churning out good quality products. So when I bite into it and I can taste the passion and the skill that they put into these menu items, it just comes out naturally. I smile, I throw my head back, mmm because it really is good stuff. But, you know, don't just take my word for it. I got one of the regulars here. Uh, I've been coming here for like, honest to God, probably since they opened, like give or take, maybe a couple weeks after. The, uh, on the menu up there, it's one of the last uh, breakfast sandwiches. It's the, uh, the pork sausage patty. Growing up, I was always eating like the, the egg McMuffins with the, uh, the sausage patty. And I was like, this, this needs to be better. There's a way to make this better. And then ever since I came through here, Michael's been just doing that, but souped up. It's got that like that American cheese, that plastic melty goodness, a thick like five or six ounce like sausage patty. It's absolutely killer, like a nice little toasted English muffin. It is like the perfect breakfast sandwich. It's so rich. It is like my hangover go-to. I get that bad boy like once a week. Uh, but then even today, I kind of ventured outside of the save zone, got the barbecue combo and Oh, dude, it's got it's got the pork belly, it's got the brisket, nice little tangy acidic barbecue sauce that's kind of like punching through how rich all the proteins are, and it's just, it's stellar. It's a messy sandwich, like your fingers are gonna be soaked in sauce, your face is gonna be just like covered in it, but it is like hands down one of the best barbecue, or one of the best, not even a barbecue sandwich, it's one of the best breakfast sandwiches in the city by like a wide margin. The brisket here, I love the bark, gives it a bit of texture, but it also has that nice, juiciness and tenderness to it as well. They do do all sorts of fantastic proteins and meats here. So if you're looking for the more classic and standard breakfast sandwich with the sausage, I mean, they do do phenomenal sausages here. But I didn't want to do a video where, you know, I was just featuring five classic breakfast sandwiches and it's all kind of samey samey. But the great thing about the food scene here in Toronto is just the sheer amount of diversity. So what I wanted to show with each of these five spots is what they do that maybe makes them a little bit more unique. So here at Hot Pork, that extra secret sauce is in their barbecue smoked goods. And our last stop needs almost no introduction as they are a familiar and a favorite of us here on the I Get Food channel. So our final stop here on our top five best breakfast sandwiches in Toronto tour has got to be at Lazy Daisies. Now yeah, I know I featured this spot before, but there's no way I could leave it off the list when you've got award-winning biscuits. Look at it, it's all golden brown. Oh, you've got that beautiful egg in there. The white cheddar cheese. You've got that slice of bacon as well. It's that biscuit is what brings people back, right? This is what Lazy Daisies is known for. In fact, you can even get the biscuits on their own. You can buy like a pack to go. They even do it frozen if you want to bake them at home. So make sure if you're a big fan of the biscuit, if that's your favorite part of the breakfast sandwich, then Lazy Daisies has got to be your go-to spot for an excellent breakfast sandwich. Mm. 
like I was saying, I've featured this spot before, and if you want to see the full version of the video, I'll leave it in the description below so that you can check it out if you haven't already. But I had to come back. That biscuit is so fantastic. Crispy on the outside and on the edges, but inside, it's fluffy, pillowy soft. I went with the plain one, and it's got great buttery flavor, but they also have different options for the biscuits as well. You can get a jalapeno one, which is what I had last time when I was here. And also the sandwich itself, different options. This one is the classic, you got the bacon and the egg, but they have like a fried chicken one. There's also a vegetarian and vegan options as well. Just with the vegan one, I don't think you get the buttermilk biscuit. Wow, you knew there was no way I was gonna leave Lazy Daisies without picking up a few biscuits to go, right? But anyway, I think this is a good spot to wrap up the video. But before I go, I do wanna say a huge thank you to all the five spots that we checked out in this video. You guys now know if you're craving a breakfast sandwich, where you should go in the city of Toronto. Big thank you to you for watching the video. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, help me out, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and share this video with family and friends. If it's your first time here and you wanna see more content like this, subscribe and hit that bell icon and then get out there Get something tasty to eat and then come on back because we've got more food adventures to share with you. I'll see you all next time when I get food.